Good day and welcome to today's orientation session about the National Rural Youth Service Corps Programme's Code of Conduct for Narisic Exited Youth. Today's presentation will outline the purpose of the Code of Conduct as well as the actual Code of Conduct and what is expected of you as an ex narisic participant in contract with the Department. The purpose of the NARISIC Code of Conduct is to ensure compliance to rules and regulations and to provide clear guidelines towards good behaviour. It is there to ensure that youth are informed of the conduct that is expected of them while employed on contract. It provides a framework upon which the conduct can be standardised and managed and it promotes mutual understanding and respect amongst youth, officials and other role players. It prevents arbitrary and discriminatory actions by officials towards youth. It informs youth in advance that misbehaviour is unacceptable. It furthermore provides a framework against which misconduct can be investigated and processed. And lastly, it standardises disciplinary processes in order to address misconduct in a fair manner. Now, what is expected of you as an ex NARISEC participant whilst in contract with the department? Most importantly, you are expected to behave in a manner that enhances the image of the department. We are now going to discuss some general rules which should guide you into achieving this. Firstly, you are expected to submit correct and valid documentation such as your ID or your driver's license. You are expected to report for duty on time and work the whole day. It is expected from you to respect and comply with the instructions issued by the extension officers. You are to ensure that your cell phone is working at all times and that it always has data. And you are to respect members of the public, officials and service providers. You are expected to abstain from using intoxicating substances such as drugs, beer or liquor. You are to refrain from indecent or abusive language towards your peers, officials or members of the public. You are to observe proper channels of communication to register complaints and disagreements. And you are to, you are to respect all laws of the country and not be involved in any criminal activities. You are to abide by COVID-19 related health and safety regulations such as social distancing. You are always to wear a mask and carry hand sanitizer. You are to respect property belonging to others. You are to carry the departmental identification card and show it to beneficiaries when and where required. And lastly, you are to respect the fundamental rights of other people as contained in the Bill of Rights, Chapter 2 of the South African Constitution, Act 108 of 1996. Please take note that any ex sec participant who misbehaves will have their contracts terminated with immediate effect. Thank you.